Hey everybody, welcome to the new week. It's Tuesday today, I'm out for my first run, proper run, since the big 50k just a few days ago. Important question, how are the legs feeling? They're feeling good. I've taken it easy, rest, recover, relax, enjoy and reflect. My fastest 50k by far, when we take into account the fact the elevation was close to 4,000 feet and we were stopping to film, do flybys, chat and just enjoy the experience together. I still think that's probably 20 minutes to half an hour could be knocked off that if it'd been a flat 50k and we were kind of like foot to the floor ready to rock and roll but it wasn't about that it was about enjoying being out as a little gang and having a fun time the main objective of today is just to get out get the legs moving again and just to see how things feel my watch is staying hidden so i just run on feel run on what feels comfortable rather than pressurizing myself to run to a particular pace which i think is very very easy to do your mind goes back into that we're off for a run now let's hit these paces and in reality what you need to do is ease back into it it's only been 72 hours so the legs will still need time to recover and return to normal i'm hoping this week to get the mileage back in i had been really thinking about get the next section of the North Downs Way covered even just very slow even to kind of walk hike it but I think it needs to be done we have still got some time but not a significant amount and I want to make sure that mentally I'm prepared physically I'm in a good place feeling strong uh, I just want to make sure that I know that course as best as I can before the big day because now I've got some kind of time parameters in mind of what I need to try and sort of do marathon distance 50k in to achieve the cutoff. I think it's easy sometimes when we're runners to forget about what we should be out here for just the love the enjoyment whether that means running alone running with a group I think the moment we let time chasing get involved it can actually move what is a free and really thoroughly enjoyable experience in something that's quite quite stressful and uh, quite overwhelming and obviously with that it kind of lays with negativity and doing that run the other day made me realize that yeah I could have done a 30 mile run by myself and it might have been quicker and the route would have been different but it wouldn't have been anywhere near as fun and actually I want to have a real positive mindset around my running and that's going to inspire me on the day to go further and go faster knowing that i've done it amongst friends and i can do it alone so i just think time for reflection again is really important why do you run what's in it for you and uh yeah for me today it's just out in nature I'll link their videos down below, but Chris and Ben did a superb job of documenting the day as well. And uh, watching it back, I learned a lot about myself, specifically my form. Now, granted, the pace was slightly slower, which means you're kind of in this walk, shuffle, jog. And with that, obviously, efficiency, the way you move, can, can drop. But I also noticed I was quite hunched, and this arm here, where I have my hand held, we're stationary for a lot of the time. So I need to make sure that I incorporate more fluidity, especially when the miles drag on, because I think it's really, really easy to just start to hunch over. That's also to do with core strength and somewhat laziness on my part. Um, but that's why today, when I'm out, I am aware carrying a GoPro is gonna hinder my performance. If I wasn't filming it, I will just head down, get going, it would be different, but obviously for me, I wanted to want to uh, remember the experience and uh, I see it as being worth it. But uh, yeah, I need to just focus in on the form. And it's something that without those two videos, 
I wouldn't notice. If you watch them yourself, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Uh, and again, like I'm, I'm self-critical. It's not like I'm going to be worried about you saying, yeah, actually, you're right. I know I'm right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just something to be mindful of as well. There we go. 9K complete, 5.55 average. I'm just walking the last kilometers home. Just think a little bit of a walk, cool down the stretch will be important. So not entirely sure what I'm going to do the rest of the week, but uh, obviously you're going to see me in the next clip and I'll share some more information with you. Take care. Everybody, it's Thursday. So yesterday, just did a bit of yoga, a bit of uh, strength work and um, kept it nice and easy because today I'm out on the North Downs Way and I'm starting about 20 kilometers into the room and I'm going to be heading towards the Stepping Stones, which I did before last time I did my marathon distance, so I finished at the top of Box Hill. Today I'm just going to be meeting another runner at the bottom of Box Hill and we're going to tackle kind of the next 15k from Box Hill onwards. I've not done that part before, he has. See if you can guess who it is before I get there. So until then, a bit of footage of me running, no need to talk, and uh, yeah, next time we speak, we step in stones. We're almost at the location of Stepping Stones to meet our guest runner today. Um, I made a wrong turn, it cost about four minutes. I was trying to do it without using the uh, GPS on the maps. So, you know, it's fine. In fact, making those wrong turns definitely cements the route into your head because you know next time not to go down there. And uh, yeah, just filming this part because it's the lovely downhill section by Denby's Vineyard. So we're close to Dorking now. Probably about a kilometre or so away. I'm going to arrive probably five minutes later than expected, but hopefully he doesn't mind waiting just a moment for me. I'm coming. Okay, we've made it to... Here he is! Run. Right there, stepping stones, and uh, that's probably about as flat as it's going to be because we're about to head into uh, the mighty leg burner. So we've got a little climb to do now, and then we'll get to the top. That'll be Box Hill, and then Chris is going to navigate for us because this is part of the course I don't know at all. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Pilgrim challenge. Right. And that goes from that's a 50k. Right, the steps accomplished. We're at the top. Here's a little view. And we're now heading into territories unknown for me. So every step's gonna be an interesting one. On the right path. So I've decided to buy some uh, Univer, which I didn't really get on with the first time it hit the UK. Yeah. Because I sent all mine to a uh, Andy Forrester and runner. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I thought, well, let's just try it again as a backup because I might need an option of sorts. Going for a PB. You're not. Not, you're not filming. filming it as good as you run it, so you're on. Okay, a few K in, a few ups, a couple of downs. We've walked a few hills. 
Um, this is Betchworth Quarry and Lime Works. Probably can't see much of this hedge line now. I waited too long before I showed you, but it's over there somewhere. A lot of the North Downs Way is kind of up and down. The ground is very hard today. Pretty stony, pretty rocky. So it's definitely been worthwhile coming out and see what this next part is. Quite a few downhills, but you can't just let gravity take you because there are some bricks just sticking out of the floor. <laughs> right everyone, another hill, another day. So it's going well so far. I'm about uh, 21 kilometers or so into, into run today, uh, but this is about three or four kilometers so since we met and uh, yeah it's definitely good to experience what's going on here so I can be aware on the day some of these signs are very well hidden you do need to know the route in order to pick them out Okay, just checking back in. We are walking up Collie Hill. This is the one I've been warned about by, by Chris. Uh, probably, yeah, another one of the bigger ascents on the course. So good to get out today and experience it. It's not very enjoyable already. I don't know how enjoyable it'll be at 27, 28, 29, 30 miles, whatever it'll be when we get here. made it to the top now on a more runnable section that was uncomfortable for sure and uh, not all that enjoyable but uh, good leg workout ahead of the day ah oh, can see some cows up ahead always wanted to do that okay made it to Rygate Hill thank you to Chris for showing me the way uh, we estimate the hill will be about 30 30 miles ish on the day so it's good to get an idea of the route and what's in store for us so whilst he's waiting for pickup let's have some reflection time really really worthwhile being out today exploring the next part of the course um, you know this is gonna be a tough day on the trails and I think for me I need to be able to visualize what's coming up ahead and a thank you to Chris who spent the time today showing me the route showing me some things I need to be be mindful of when to walk when to run how steep things are what's coming up ahead uh, really helpful especially if you're a trail runner to go out with people who know the course um, yeah it's just invaluable information so there is an aid station before this point, about a kilometre back. Uh, and I think we're like, we just spoke about today, some sort of strategy ideas and how we're going to approach those aid stations, nutrition, hydration. It's, again, it's good just to talk through with somebody who's doing the same race as you, what the approach is going to be. Everybody is different, but at the same time, there are certain principles that you need to employ in order to be successful on the day. So uh, yeah, getting pretty windy, pretty cold. You know what it's like when you finish your run and the chill can get to you. So I'm going to get up and get moving, uh, keep myself yeah warm hey everyone saturday today i wasn't supposed to be out on a run because after this week's efforts following my big saturday 50k uh, i was going to take it easy i did quite a big run as you would have seen with chris the other day longer than i anticipated so today's just a bit of a leg shaker just to kind of get that rust away uh, ahead of tomorrow where we're actually going to be going out with ben to find that local landmark monument it's quite exciting but that's going to be about 20k or so. So because of that, today is just a very, very short run, about 6k. Just a quick little video clip here to share with you why I'm doing it. But essentially, gets the legs moving. I'm loving running at the moment. I'm just loving it so much. And uh, it was hard for me this morning to wake up and not think about going for a little light something. Obviously, Saturday's normally my long run, but I've been off work this week, so I've been putting different runs in different places. But tomorrow's going to be the long distance, 
of sorts. Uh, Thursday will still be longer. But anyway, I'm going to catch up with you then. And uh, yeah, thanks so far for sticking with me. Appreciate it. I do think it's important to seize opportunities because, as we know, young runners, every day is not always your day. And unfortunately, I think sometimes we, we long for those moments where everything just runs, no pun intended, smoothly. Um, this week has been one of those weeks where, despite the big distance at the weekend, I feel like my my fitness is clearly in a pretty good place, more than I anticipated, and um, everything feels good. So, you know, I'm con continuing to be sensible and mindful with the way I approach my running, but also, you know, maybe this could turn into one of the more peak weeks uh, ahead of the taper, which is coming up, everybody. Well, there it is, distance done. I'm gonna catch up with you tomorrow. And we'll see Ben and we'll go exploring on the local trails. See you then. Hello, it's Sunday. It's not even 6 a.m. yet. We're out with Ben. We're going to go and explore some trails this morning, um, hopefully in the week in a really positive way. So, yeah, it's been, uh, been a busy week. We'll do the overlay at the end so you can see the kind of distances are done, elevation, and what have you. But uh, otherwise, we're going to head out now, have some fun, and I'll catch up with you when we're on trails. See you in a sec. All right. Back well, Newland's Corner. Check out that view, and this view right here. What a day to be up here! It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, I love the view sun's rising. We've got some Arthur's over there, and this, of course, is part of the North Downs Way 50 route running along here to Newton's Corner. With any people out, it's a little bit chilly, but we're fine. And now, no need for head torches because we are into the light. Ooh. Ben stripped off to reveal the damn run stop. There it is. What a nice surprise. Premium quality, Tesco's prices. That's right, coming at you, cheap and affordable, but oh so good quality. Smile for miles. So we're just uh, in Blackheath at the moment, or through Blackheath, and it's uh, stunning surroundings, as you can see. Bit of sand underfoot, amazing tall trees, sun coming through. So we're en route to find a what, an art installation? A monument? Yeah, it's an art. Yeah. yeah. Art when we get there, I'm going to try some Unived gel because Spring Energy gel has not been available in the UK for a good two months now. So I need a backup plan for my Ultra. So today, we try Unived. I did try it before last year. I didn't really like it. But new flavours. Uh, give them a whirl. Second time around and uh, I'll let you know what I think. So we've made it. This is the art installation, the monument that we've been trying to find, and we're here. Check it out. There's some cool little kind of mantras and kind of words and phrases and poems and well wishes on here, which is really cool as well. Um, I'm going to try Unived in just a second and we'll film that, but check this out also. Hopefully I can show you from here. There's something amazing down... Oh, I can't show for this angle. I'll show you in a minute. There's something amazing down here. It looks like kind of two little, um, like pyramids just well, erupting from the surface, basically. So I'm going to go and possibly check those out, but time for Unived now. Hey everyone. So, um, Unived taste test today. This is the, the Berry Blast. This is the Unived Elite Gel. I've got two gels here with me today, the Standard Gel and the Elite. So this is the Berry Blast and uh, we'll give it a go. So the last time I tried Unived, uh, I felt I tasted a bit metallic. It wasn't very nice. It could have been the flavor, could have just been you know, a lot of things combined. So let's give this one a go. Ooh, ooh. Interesting, kind of a clear liquid. Can't see that clear liquid. Wow. I tell you what it tastes like. It tastes like cow pole. That is uh mm. pretty good. It's good that. I think it's probably slightly too much in there. Um for me to take right now, but I'm gonna have all of it. But uh the smaller packets, the standard gels are about two thirds of the size, probably would be much easier. But yeah, berry blast. Thumbs up, pretty good. Right, we're going in search of a second monument. Oh, we're going <laughs> literally running down the middle of a valley here. <laughs> this is uh, some steep descent, that's for sure. Oh dear, we've had... We, 
we've made an error here. We thought with this like pyramid monument about in the distance, we've gone over to it and uh, it's the roof of a building. Is it a sports club? I think it might be a gym or something. Don't know what it is, but it's not an Egyptian pyramid that we thought we'd discovered. Oh. Oh, we were talking about retirement already there, never mind. Oh, oh dear, what a mess. Well, this has been a pretty nasty climb to be honest with you. You probably can't see it, but oh, my legs are burning. It's good, it's really good. Good for the legs, but wow. Never got this way before, but that's the view though. And then if I put on a better view. <laughs> ah. There's more, more hills. We made it, and it was worth it. For this lovely site, St Martha's Church, we come up here quite often actually. It appears in quite a lot of the videos for the Sunday runs. And we're now gonna head downhill, thankfully. Oh uh, well, only for a short while, before we go back uphill towards the end point for today. Past 21K, which is really good. And uh, in the next clip, I'll talk to you about how this week's going, the overlay and such, so. I'll leave you with me. Okay, let's get the overlay up and talk about this week. So, all things considered, it's been actually a really, really great week. Probably one of my higher mileage weeks. Great elevation. And this is following the 50k on Saturday. So, you can see there that I've had a, a busy few days and I'm really grateful to be able to get out. I'm feeling good, legs are feeling great. And uh, yeah, a really, really solid week. Kind of one of the, the better weeks, probably, in my training block. And uh, even better considering the distance I did last weekend. So there's the overlay. Looking forward to starting next week in a really positive light. I'm uh, thankful that my legs are treating me well and how uh, we can just keep moving forward. See you in the next one.